Are you gonna be on my side if I let you up? Sure, Tick, sure. I'm on your side. Just set me up. I'll do anything you say. Okay, Skipper. You're on my side. Sure, Chick. I'm on your side. Okay, let's go find the other fellas. Hi, Sons. Hi, Hi, Fred. Fred. Hi, look what I got. Where'd you get that? Dad gave it to me for my birthday. All my old man ever gave me was a good licking. Just the same, that's where I got it. Get off, I want to ride it. Oh, no, Chick, not my new bike. Did he hurt you, Raymond? No, he didn't hurt me. But gosh, my new bike. I don't like that guy. Why doesn't he pick on Fred Smith or somebody his own age? Why are you always running around with him? Oh, I don't know. Are you afraid of him? Who, me? Me afraid of him? Hey, look, no hands. Oh, my new bike. It was voted that the class picnic would be held next Friday afternoon in Riverside Park. Fred Smith was appointed chairman of the picnic committee. The meeting was then adjourned. Thanks, Betty. I'll have a report from Fred Smith on the plans for the picnic. Betty and Ginger and I had a meeting over at Ginger's house last Tuesday. We made a list of things everyone had to bring. Ginger, do you have that list? Yes. I have a list and all the names right here. We'll post it on the bulletin board tomorrow, and everyone can see what to bring. I think we should have lots of copies made and given to everyone in the class. All right. I'll make up a bunch of them. Now, who's going to the picnic? Why, everyone in the class, I suppose. Oh, no. Gee, well. Do we have to include that chick, Alan? If he comes, he'll bring those other boys that he bullies around, and he'll just make trouble. I guess we have to. He is one of the class. But those younger boys, they don't have to come, do they? Well, if he comes, he'll bring them, too. Hey, look what I got. Let me see it. Aw, oh, Chick. Let me see it. Aw, oh, this is nothing. Just something about an old class picnic. Wait a minute. This gives me an idea. Where's this picnic gonna be? Riverside Park. Riverside Park. We can have some fun at this picnic. Well, sure. You always have fun at a picnic. No, that's not what I'm thinking, Paul. I mean some real fun. We can fix this picnic. All we have to do is this. Okay, now does everybody know what they're supposed to do? Yeah, wow. sure, Chick, I we got, got it. it. Golly, Chick, I don't think we ought to. You don't think we ought to what? Nothing, Chick, nothing. Well, all right. Skipper? Hmm? What's the matter? There isn't anything the matter. Did I do something? No, you didn't do anything. Just go away and leave me alone, will you? I'm sorry if I didn't. Ginger! Do you know Chick Allen? I know who he is. He's in our class. Oh, Ginger? Well, Chick's gonna do something terrible to ruin your picnic. And I'm supposed to help him. The picnic? Yeah, the picnic. But, Skipper, why the picnic? Oh, I don't know why the picnic. It's just Chick. It's the way he is. He's not happy unless he's breaking something or hurting somebody. But it's a class picnic. It's for everybody. It's for him, too. Oh, that doesn't mean anything to him. Not Chick. It was a picnic for his own family. He just as soon busted up as not. What have you got to do with it, Skipper? I'm supposed to get mud and mess up the picnic tables. Johnny's got to get firecrackers and set them off and scare everybody. George and Tommy are going to steal the food, and, and gosh, it'll be awful. And what's your friend Chick going to do? Well, he's going to... Golly, I don't know what he's going to do. Just as I thought, he makes you younger kids do all the dirty work. He's a big shot. Sis, it wasn't my idea. I don't want to do it. And why do you go around with that Chick out anyway? Why do you let him get you into things like this? Oh, I don't know. It's just, well... Don't worry, Skipper. We'll think of some way to take care of Chick Allen. 
I can't tell you how I found out, but I did, and it's terrible. They're going to put mud on the picnic tables and light big firecrackers. They're even going to steal the food. There won't be any picnic left when they get through. What are we going to do? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over and bust that chick out in the nose. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to. Let's go get it. Sure. Hey, now, wait a minute. Wait, nothing. I'm going to go get him right now. Let's go. Yeah. No, no, wait a minute. Let me tell you something. If we all go after Chick now, he won't have to break up the picnic. He'll have had his fun just seeing how mad he made it. Now, listen. What we got to do is simple. All we got to do is to get the other kids and go down. Skip? Yeah? I don't think we ought to do it. Do you? Oh, I don't know. You mean you want to? Oh, I didn't say that. No, but... Raymond, can you keep a secret? Well, sure. Promise you won't tell. Well, sure. Everything's going to be all right. What do you mean everything's going to be all right? The other kids know what Chick's planning for us to do at the picnic. Oh, my gosh, they'll kill us. No, they won't. It's going to be all right. But, Skip, I don't see how... Look, you just do what Chick tells you to. But I don't see how... It's going to be all right, Raven. It's going to be all right. Okay, you guys all know what you're going to do. Billy, you got those firecrackers? Tommy, is that bucket of mud ready? Yeah, Chick, it's ready. Okay, let's splice this mud on these tables. Now, here's how we're going to do it. The minute the class gets off the bus, you light those firecrackers. And when the bus stops and everybody gets out and comes running to see if the noise is, the rest of you guys jump in the bus and make off of the food. Then we'll run over there in the woods and watch the fun. This ought to be pretty good. All right, now, let's get to work. Let's mess this place up a little. My gosh, Chick, I'm getting tired of waiting. I'm getting hungry, too. Oh, shut up. They'll be here in a little while. But what if they don't come? They'll come, all right. Well, here comes someone anyway. Hi, Chick. Hi, Barney. What do you want? I got something for you. What is it? I don't know. Let me see it. All right, you boys. We're going to Clinton Park. But, hey! Dear Chick, when we heard what you were going to do at the picnic at Riverside Park, we changed it to Clinton Park. Hope you'll change your plans and come on over. The class. This sure is going to be a good picnic. Boy, it sure is, in spite of Chick Allen's big plan. Say, I wonder what's the matter with him anyway. Oh, I don't know. I think he's just kind of mixed up. Why do you suppose he's always blowing somebody around? How come he's always showing off? Why can't he just be satisfied to have fun with the rest of us? I don't know. He sure got me buffaloed. Me too. I wonder what he'll do when he gets our note. You don't suppose he'll really come over here, do you? Uh-oh, look. Okay, now, remember what we said if he did come. It's up to Chick. If he wants to be like one of us, all right. If not... Yes, Chick, it's up to you. Can you be satisfied just to have fun with the rest of them? Are you really so brave? Or are you the one who is afraid? Have you learned anything from the way the class has treated you? And you, members of the class, were you right in secretly moving the location of the picnic? How will you treat Chick Allen now? How will you act? Do you still think you handled the bully problem in the right way? Anything else have been done about Chick, the bully? What do you think? Mm -hmm.